colleagues, I, I first want to uh, say to Representative Parrish, I know when you refer to it being the worst week, uh, for those who weren't here, her sister passed away that, uh, that week, and we share in our sorry for your loss. And I know that this is uh, a very important bill to you. It's important to, to me. I think it's, it has uh, been one of the platform uh, and core beliefs of many of us to provide families with choices about their public education. Ultimately, I think the one thing that we do all hold in common, whether we're, uh, in, uh, we raise our, children's in an, uh, in our children in an urban environment or in a rural environment or a suburban environment, is we want the best for our kids. We want our kids to have educational opportunities. As you know, our kids are diverse and different kids have different learning styles and needs. Uh, this bill does unfortunately uh, limit charter schools. It's a top-down approach rather than a bottoms-up approach. I've heard from many uh, constituents, including school board members, many in some of your districts, that there is this intention between doing what's best for families and providing tools so our families can find the best environment for our kids to learn. That has a tension with running a school system. Often the tension is that school districts uh, want to know for their own budget or for other purposes how many kids in this school, how many kids in that school, and the like. And that tension between doing what's best for a school district and doing what's best for a family exists. I'm not sure if we'll ever get away with that. But colleagues, one thing I do know is this. Anytime we institutionalize top down in an era of history which is going in the other direction when it comes to education, we are putting ourselves against a headwind. Charter schools are not a thing of the past. They are a path of our future. Choices for family, choices for education, for kids, do not threaten anything but the status quo. I'd urge today a no vote, not only because I do believe in part uh, it diminishes Oregon's education reform uh, that we worked through on a bipartisan, bicameral basis last time. But I urge a no vote because we want to be a state where families have choices on education in the larger districts of our state, whether they like it or not, choices are at their doorstep. I urge an, a no vote because if there truly are financial needs or needs of the children that aren't being met, then we can certainly do it in a scalpel approach rather than a hatchet approach. And I believe that's what this bill does. It may be wrapped in a package that sounds good, but ultimately it limits choices for families. And that's a core belief in education that I cannot support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.